Okay, where was I? Oh. A door. The door. You, you know, when you see a door, there could be a lot of things behind it, you know? Like, like in this one room, there was this guy who was being tortured by Nightler, the king of nightmares. So, so this guy couldn't sleep because of the nightmares, but but then he saw her, and he fell in love, and his bad dreams became good dreams. So behind this door, the guy, the, the guy flipped through his dream log, and he would read through some of his old nightmares. Like, like there was one with some hands, and there was one with a severed hand, and then there was another one where he was falling. But, but anyway, he didn't have those kind of dreams anymore. So this guy, he, he dressed himself, and he waited, and while he waited, he thought of his good dreams with her, like, there was that one with this ring, and, and then there was another one with sand, and there was one where she lost her key card, and he got to watch her for hours from his room. But, but then he actually saw her in real life, and he was filled with joy, with happiness. He was in love. So what's next? Oh. So right now you're probably wondering, who is this Nightler guy? Well, like, basically, okay, in some place far, far away there was this city of monsters where no one was ever happy, but Nightler was by far the unhappiest of them all. I mean, Night Nightler's dreams were so bad, so terrible, that he proclaimed himself the king of nightmares and he would, he would do bad things like go on murderous rampages and stuff. So then the other monsters were like, you can't do that, and they got together and put him in a cage and they uh, banished him to the world of dreams, and that's where Nightler began to haunt the dreams of the guy in the room. But but then the guy saw the girl, and the spell was broken. And since then, Nightler swore he would he would get his revenge. So anyway, it was a normal day for the guy until he noticed something peculiar. He saw that his dream girl was locked out of her room, and to the guy there was only one explanation. Nightler, you bastard! He shouted. You stole her keycard! The guy thought Nightler stole the keycard as an act of revenge, and he vowed to get the card back for his love. So behind this door, the man went to sleep, and he started his search. The guy found himself in a strange room, and he, he stood up and he looked around, and then he saw her. The d dream had been a bad dream, the first in a long time, and as the guy wrote about it in his dream log, he wondered where the keycard had been, you know? I'll get it back for her, the guy said to himself. And then it was right then when he realized something, and he looked up. And 
so the guy found himself in a new place. A cold and empty place. He saw things, like wood, logs of wood. And, and you know, for a moment, the guy thought that his search was over, that when he opened the box, he would find the key card, and he and the girl would finally get to meet and get married. But he was wrong. So the guy went to the bathroom to clean up his blood, and while cleaning, you know, he began to get really angry at Nightler. Nightler, I'll fight you. The man said aloud. So the man wrote it all down in his dream log, and then he began to see things again. And then it occurred to the guy that he might be going So the, the guy ended up getting the key back and he went to the bathroom again to clean off the blood and then he began to grow happy. He was finally going to meet the girl. He was finally going to leave his room. And, and so we, we start back where we began. A door. The door. You, you know when you see a door, there could be a lot of things behind it, you know? Like, like there could be someone who loves you, someone who is filled with joy, with happiness, whenever they catch a glimpse of you. And then again, there could also be nothing. But you know what? You'll never know unless you go up to the door and you open it yourself. Now, let's see. What's next?